Namaste everyone. Good morning and welcome to the morning session. Sabhiko namaste, good morning and welcome. We are doing UHV3 and in UHV3 we are doing lecture 15. We are talking about sources of happiness, our basic aspiration for happiness and continuity and how we try to achieve it in different ways. So before we awaken to the higher activities, we are searching for it outside. It's not there inside. So we are naturally inclined to look for it outside because it is a basic need. It is a requirement for us. So when we are looking for it outside, we try to get it you know, the possible sources from where we can get it is to try through physical facility, through the sense organs, using the sense organs of the body, sense organs of taste, touch, smell, and so on, and trying to get pleasure from the physical objects, physical facility, like food, and so on. And with that, we get some pleasure. So we are trying to get this happiness in bits and pieces from here and there. But obviously, it is only temporary. There is a dependence on this. And there is no continuity possible with this. Besides the fact that there is no completion point, there is never at any point that you can say, okay, yes, now I want the continuity of this and this can continue. At no point can we say that. Because sooner or later, you want to come out of it. Same is true when we try to get the right feeling from others. Because we can't ensure the feeling within, we try to get it from outside. It's like carrying a begging bowl and asking, please give me feeling, please give me respect, please give me attention. But what we don't realize is that the other is also in the same boat. The other also has a begging bowl and is looking for the right feeling. So it's like a deadlock. I am looking for the right feeling from the other, the other is looking for the right feeling from me. And it doesn't work. If it does, temporarily, I get thrilled, I get very happy. Oh, yes, now that person is giving me respect. But it can't last. Again, I'm dependent on the other. I'm at the mercy of the other. If the other feels like giving me the right feeling, then I feel happy. When he doesn't, I get disturbed, I get unhappy. So there also there is no continuity possible. There is a dependence, isn't it? So what is the way out? We said the way out is to work towards right understanding. Awakening to the higher activities and trying to ensure the feeling within me. Because now, when I ensure the feeling within me, that is entirely up to me. That is in my control. Other things outside, I may not have much control over. But this, what is inside me, is definitely up to me. It is my decision, my choice. I can choose to have the right feeling, regardless of what is happening outside, regardless of who is doing what and whether they are behaving or misbehaving or whatever it may be. I have this option with me. Just that I have to build my competence. And I need to understand that this is entirely up to me. It has nothing to do with the outside world. My need for happiness is fulfilled from within me. 
with my understanding and having the right feeling within but till we get there we keep trying we keep trying to get continuity of happiness through the methods that we were talking about and when we have those objects with us we try to indulge in them try to get pleasure more and more and more from them and if we lack them if we don't have them then we become unhappy and then to escape from that unhappiness we look for other things so we said some of these ways of escaping one is overeating you may have heard you know people who are depressed people who are um not having good relationships some of them end up becoming very obese because every time they have this feeling that you know people don't care or people are not giving me the right feeling to try to forget about it and to try to distract from that they go and eat and when they eat temporarily they feel better they don't see that after they eat there is this feeling of guilt there is this shame that again i overate when i didn't want to and all of that which is not naturally acceptable to me and then again there is depression so for some time they feel good then again same thing and so they you will find such people eating you know packets and packets of chips and things like that to try to it's like a way of escape from the unhappiness of the you know trying to get the feeling from the other they don't know what else to do so they keep overeating and there are many examples of you know say teenagers adolescents who are in that state and it is leading to many health problems for the body obviously so the problem is actually in the cell but it is created as a problem in the body and if we try to fix the problem at the level of the body it does not work because we haven't tackled the issue in the self so you keep trying to make them exercise do this do that and reduce their diet and change their diet and those kind of things to some extent it will help but obviously it is not the complete answer because somewhere we haven't tackled the main issue which is the unhappiness in the self so as long as the self is unhappy inside it is bound to look for happiness somewhere so it could be food if we fix the food part a little bit it could become oversleeping it could become alcohol it could become drugs it could become anything therefore you have such issues even though we may not go into tobacco alcohol drugs and so on we may notice that we do some of these things on a small scale like sometimes overeating sometimes over sleeping there is lot of tension lot of work to be done i don't know how to handle it i am tense i am in conflict i am in contradiction and to avoid that tension within me i go and sleep so things like that can happen with us also on a small scale and when it is happening um on a scale which is not disrupting the whole life then we accept it as normal that this is normal to have stress and strain in life that is part of life so we accept it as normal but when it gets out of hand we get into these kind of habits 
then there is a social taboo involved with it. And then we say, oh, so-and-so is an addict. We label them as addicts. We don't mix with them. We segregate them. We don't want our children to talk to them and so on. But you can see how this is happening, isn't it? I may be um, not able to deal with all the work pressure, so I may want to, say, play cards with someone, a friend. And it makes it exciting to put a little money in that, to play for a little bit of money. So I do that. And then it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger stakes. And I can't come out of it. Then we call it gambling. So you can see how this is the same. It's a continuum of the same problem. But, you know, on a small scale, we say it's normal. So to come out of stress, tension, and you know, all, we say, let's go for a movie. And that is considered fine. It's okay. But what is happening in the movie? I am escaping from my real life problems for those three hours when I am busy with just what is being shown on the screen. And I forget everything else. But is it a solution? When I come out from there after three hours, again all those conflicting thoughts come flooding back. Again I am reminded of all the problems. But what to do? You can't keep seeing the movies all the time. Or you cook something very extravagant, interesting. Or you go to eat food outside as a change. So we do these things on a small scale to escape from what we call the stress, the tension, to relax. And we say that this is normal. Everybody has to do this because this is how life is. But does it have to be like this? Tension is not outside. Tension is in me. Tension is not in the situation outside. Tension is in my state inside. And that is up to me. If my feelings and thoughts are in line with my natural acceptance, I am calm, I am comfortable. I feel good all the time. Then if somebody makes it wants me to watch a movie, I can watch, but I don't feel a need for it. If somebody is playing good music, I appreciate it. But if it's not there, I don't miss it. If there's nice food, I like the taste, I enjoy it, but I don't overeat. And if it's not there, I don't crave for it. So you see the difference? Can you appreciate this? You can answer in the chat. And does this happen to some of us sometimes? Do we go through such activities? Yes, we do. So imagine if we had such a state in which we are comfortable within, we are happy within, and we don't feel the need to look outside for happiness. Isn't that a much nicer state? Somebody said we might get bored. But look at it like this, you know. When your body is healthy, do you get bored of good health in the body? You don't get bored of it. Rather, you even forget about the body. But you see when you have a little bit of pain in the body, how it troubles you, how it irritates you, how you become unhappy with it. And it becomes, you get consumed sometimes 
by this whole issue the problem in the body and you're trying to fix the problem but you don't get bored of good health in the body similarly if i am happy comfortable within then i don't have any issue then i don't look for relaxing to me everything is fun enjoyment work is also enjoyment everything that i that do is enjoyment you see so many people who are working 24 hours who are working 24 hours means of course they are taking time out to eat and sleep and all that but they don't feel the need for a vacation they are able to continue working because they feel comfortable happy within they don't feel they need a change to try to get over unhappiness otherwise we do this no we work 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 and lot of times we are miserable we are frustrated we are angry at work also at the end of the day you say bas now i just want to relax or the other way can be you work you are happy you are comfortable you interact with others you come back you are still in that happy mood happy state and you continue and the days go on but if you see in you know especially outside you will find so many of these ways of looking at things the preconditions oh it's black monday again it's monday because vacation is over now i have to go back to work now i'm dreading going back to work <laughs> after so called enjoying the weekend sometimes we go on a trip for um you know the summer and then we get so tired with the trip we come back and we need a vacation after the vacation also before we join work or we are miserable when it comes to again joining work so we keep going through these mood swings we keep oscillating between excitement and escape that's not happiness so yesterday we had given an assignment also regarding this and i'm wondering how many of you were able to do this assignment so we had asked whether you know we are seeking our happiness inside or outside try to ask answer this honestly sometimes we may be trying to get happiness from outside and when we are not able to get this happiness from outside are we trying to escape from the unhappiness by shifting to some other activity like we talked of oversleeping overeating watching a movie going to the tv channels looking at the internet watching something on the phone so many things we keep doing so check that you are not caught in this loop of shifting from excitement to escape from unhappiness let us ask for this assignment to be done so if anybody would like to share their observations of what they could find how they felt is it happening sometimes the first step for solving any issue is having the acceptance that the problem is there then seeing what can be done and trying to resolve it. नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते ऑल नमस्ते 
my sharing will be uh, on on a particular thing that uh, i have uh, observed that uh, uh, during vacation or some when there is time for take the leisure the uh, people my friends they invite me for the playing playing cards mm -hmm. so, uh, in while doing that uh, i have observed that even if they don't call me or some day there is no play i don't feel anything different if it is there it's okay if it is not there it is also okay so uh, like that i have found that uh, my i am not eager to wait for the my, my for the invitation so i have found that because i am happy inside even if there is no offer still i am happy mm -hmm. um, i have observed this in my feeling that what i wanted to share thank you yeah so that's nice that you are not looking for it you are not wanting it but now we can go one step further we can see what is the purpose of this lot of people say you know time pass yeah yeah this time pass we have lot of stuff we can do no we can make use of the time very effectively see if we look at it like this in this form at least we have some limited time here yeah okay? mm. and we want to do many things we want to achieve many things achievement doesn't just mean success outside we want to understand we want to grow you know we want to develop our competence all of that happens how we read we do other things no many activities we try to get the information we watch videos of people who are realized or who are um, sharing their knowledge even though it is words even though it is information but whatever information we get then we reflect on it Yeah. we also need to do many things to take care of the health of the body sometimes so we can do all those things then we start asking you know in the whole day how much time did i spend fruitfully and how much time did i put and put waste because if it there's no purpose to it then it's waste only isn't it if we are doing things for what we call time pass then time will pass anyway <laughs> regardless of what we are doing but for people who are unable to pass the time who are unable to be by themselves to you know who feel restless when they don't have some activity driving outside that they want to get you know indulgent then that restlessness they feel they feel they can't pass the time so then they look for what they call time pass activities so you have not just you know gutka or tobacco these days you have uh, big film stars and so called um you know the icons who are promoting things like pan masala so even if it has no tobacco why are we getting into all this what is the need is there a need for it so you start questioning everything you know not that you don't enjoy life you still enjoy life you are happy you can be happy being with family you can be happy doing many activities but you start questioning is it necessary what is the purpose why am i doing this is it required just like we you know we were talking about some people when they feel depressed they go out and shop and they buy many things and come 
later on they may feel low that oh i spent so much money unnecessarily i already had so much but in that feverish you know kind of moment they have an urge to just go out and spend because temporarily they feel happy to buy new clothes to buy new things for the house whatever it may be so yeah we need to keep observing yes yeah, yes. yeah. thank you thank you for your sharing namaskar madam namaskar to all namaste madam yesterday uh, a spreadsheet was uh, given to us uh, to fill it a google spreadsheet in that uh, our name our uh, years of experience outside and in our college and our uh, uh, gross salary and our uh, uh, research uh, publications are uh, uh, to be filled so when i observe all the uh, uh, my colleagues uh, 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 means for number of publications are this uh, uh, contents the things what they filled then i felt very unhappy madam because i observed my gross salary is more and but my publications are less <laughs> the other colleagues uh, whose gross salary is less uh, they have more publications that is one and another uh, the people who are having more gross salary are improportionally higher uh, uh, publications also so what i am doing uh, uh, i'm i'm not doing uh, research uh, publications but i have done good work but mm-hmm. i am i have not uh, kept in, uh, in in terms of paper mm-hmm. many papers i can produce so i am not doing that for a very long time i have been trying to do but i am not uh, keeping in uh, putting in terms of papers but others uh, uh, in spite of less work also uh, they are increasing their uh, count then uh, it took me so what i am observing here madam yesterday's question was where are we seeking our happiness yes i am seeking happiness outside because i am not happy i am seeking it to outside definitely so are we trying to get happiness from outside yes and uh, when we are not able to get this happiness are we trying to escape from this unhappiness yes by moving to other activities yes i am going mm-hmm. this happened so in different quantities it is happening in different uh, events but this uh, uh, considerably uh happened so check that you are not caught in this loop yeah i i i, I was caught uh from uh, one excitement to another excitement i can say so then i tried suppose if i had had so many publications can i be happy can i be continuously happy no then again i thought okay i will write but i need not be unhappy so let me concentrate uh, on my work so whether it gives me but i should not depend on it i should not beg happiness on number of publications then uh, it it happened much still now also madam i have that i have to write i have to write uh, more papers like that so even though the intensity has decreased so these are some of the occasions where uh, i means for the excitement where i seek more uh, from others there are some occasions some occasions where i don't bother i feel very calm to like that this is my uh, one of the experiences madam very nice very nice that you are able to notice this yes madam thank and you this is important yes, see madam. for many of us we get caught in this comparison issue no yes madam till i saw the others i thought i was fine the moment i look at the others and i see oh what all work they have done how come i have not done so much i feel low issue is i mean the state is the same na yes yes I, madam i have published this much that is the same state but now i am comparing with others it's like you are going in your maruti car on the highway and you are fine with your speed 
and suddenly one mercedes races past you now you don't feel good about it yeah <laughs> really madam in in But, society most of the things are like that madam only yeah so we have to make sure that you know in order to try to catch up with the mercedes yeah we are not becoming all tense and worked up and accelerating as far as possible and forgetting about enjoying the ride see we may be going as a family for a picnic ah oh, you know? madam and we can be enjoying laughing having fun together na huh? cracking jokes enjoying life together and going you know at a normal speed in the maruti somebody yeah. races past now we get aggressive we also want to go ahead of that person now what happens the whole atmosphere in the car changes yes madam we stop the talk and when the children are trying to laugh and talk we say be quiet and i have to concentrate on my driving now it has become like a some struggle that i have to go past past i must overcome i must go faster in that process we have forgotten to enjoy the trip we were out to have fun look at what we are doing really madam so this is how life is so we shouldn't get into that when yeah, we yeah. say we want to write purpose uh, papers also what is our purpose if it is to gain you know more information more skill try to uh, do a project that will help somebody those are you know has some meaning to it but if it is just so that i can get a promotion so that i have higher salary then you have to ask why do i want a higher salary do i have enough do i not have enough no i'll give you yeah. a simple example um i was in the medical i am in the medical field you can say but i came out of the practice and all of that uh, somewhere there was some discontentment about how we are solving the medical problems for people i felt like it was just patchwork that it was not sufficient giving the medication and many medications have side effects and temporary solutions are there but we are not fixing the problem so many issues used to be there so i would do my own counseling of yoga and pranayama and so many other things that i would include which was not part of what i had learned in the medical college and somewhere i lost interest in going for the new the conferences where you know new things are being discovered and talked of so you have say an annual conference where all the doctors go and those also became more like a business they will advertise some place which is near a place to see so you know by the seaside or something so you can enjoy the life uh, <laughs> you can <laughs> go for a holiday take your family and all of that and oh by the way there is this talk also by these people <laughs> and then there will be a huge fees to it and accommodation and banquet and food and so somewhere uh, it was very disconcerting and and then it was sort of slowly we are shifting to that thing that you have to attend so many conferences so that you can keep your uh in you know your knowledge up to date so i used to wonder why you cannot do it you know why can you not continue medical education without all this other stuff mixing with it yeah yeah madam in that medical education also if your focus is only on the body then how are we going to solve so many of the problems so my choice was to come out of that and get into something that i thought was more useful i'm not saying that is the choice for everybody yeah yeah all i'm saying is 
that we have to sometimes question what we are doing what is the purpose where we are there itself we can do a lot of good like so many of the teachers here are teaching their technical subjects but at the same time they are volunteers for uhv so they are helping to do something that they feel is worthwhile that is worth doing for helping others understand and in the process of course their own understanding is growing at the same time they are working in the college they are getting paid a salary they are able to take care of their needs the family needs you know, there is prosperity in the family and at the same time you are able to do all this other work also yes so ma'am. like that we can see how we can best utilize our time and see what you know where we can shift or how we can sort of work towards that purpose our purpose should be very clear in all of our activities and all of our you know yes madam where the purpose is uh, uh, survived na so uh, can i add uh, some sentences here madam just if you pardon me what did you say purpose uh, uh yeah means what uh, what is the purpose of uh, life that if it is survived then uh, whatever you are doing all uh, is uh, right now madam because uh, some people might have not identified is our purpose just to survive uh, not that uh, to uh, 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 means what uh, to achieve the purpose of life i mean to say ha ah, so what is the purpose of life no, don't uh, we to, want to yeah, live with happiness is, and continue? yeah to continue na we have a need to know we have a need to understand we have a we want to live not just struggle and survive ah yes madam that's so what i want to live happily you know with fulfillment ah. yeah i want to add that only madam because you have ah. just told you have left uh, uh, some medical field um, I, i i feel you have entered in a big medical field because you are treating the many people you are treating many people uh, uh, to be uh, uh, free from their uh, many diseases like uh, restlessness unhappiness uh, the big big diseases what medical field cannot uh, uh, solve uh, the existing medical field yeah in my case that's what i'm saying a yeah, big so thing na madam is everything was pointing towards some some change so that change happened for me yeah yeah so what i'm saying is that for everybody that may not be the case no they might have not identified not necessary for us yeah, to yeah, yeah. what we are doing yes it ma'am it's not either or that's what i was trying to say really, so ma'am. that's how people so many of the teachers who are working in their regular jobs yeah yeah are also able to do this kind of activity yeah yeah giving for uhv and doing this as a means of achieving that higher purpose yes madam yeah, yeah. i have continue, been observing as long as you have a body you have to you know there are needs of the body so physical facility is required it's not you know something that is uh, not necessary at all yes it ma'am. is one of the three requirements that we have isn't it yeah yeah madam right understanding the relationship and physical facility we always talk of the three yeah But keeping them in the right priority that is significant yes madam yes. thank you madam thanks a lot thank you nice sharing <clears throat> actually i am in confusion that is the reason i just wanted to interact uh, mm-hmm. because uh, if we are interacting with the patient or something we ask them to have a diversion by watching movies or something or we uh, uh, we suggest them especially my case i am doing that uh, like i'm suggesting them to seek happiness or uh, maybe ex- is it an excitement or an happiness that i'm suggesting like uh, to have a mind diversion to observe the things outside rather than within because already we observe that their body is not in a state 
to take up the things so you are talking uh, about what conditions pattern uh, like actually uh, my brother in law and also one of my colleagues are suffering with cancer mm -hmm. that that's the reason like uh, when they are undergoing chemo or something like i suggest i usually suggest that ki you have to keep your mind busy so because they are they have to go undergo the treatment continuously at that time we cannot give them the time also so that we can talk to them continuously or something so i say like you watch movies or uh, do something outside i suggest them activities which are outside so am i right or wrong is my confusion state there yeah so ultimately what is the purpose of the human being we need to understand no yes we need yes. to be able to see the role of the body as an instrument of the self we need to be able to see the self as the doer the one who mm. is the enjoyer the experiencer and the self has to take charge of the body true yes yeah? the feeling of yes. self regulation mm -hmm. so with that if we look at that as the purpose mm -hmm. now what do you think so ultimately mm -hmm. we have to try to get them to understand so same mm -hmm. thing to begin with it could be a diversion instead of a mm -hmm. movie we can make them listen to something inspiring something useful mm. something mm. from the workshop some bits and pieces recordings things um okay. say about the health sessions or whatever it may be something mm. that is useful that is keeping their mind occupied not just to pass the time but to use that time constructively okay. all the more because now they have limited time in this form mm. isn't it so next journey also purpose is the same we need to understand so let us form mm. some sort of base now so that mm -hmm. next time around it makes it easier for them little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, let us it. work towards that it may start as a distraction it may start as distracting taking your mind away from those issues and looking at some other issues some some recording something like that but in that process of listening to the recording the information that they receive may help them come out of their depression and unhappiness because when you see this you know when you are able to see or when you are able to get even this hope that i am not the one who is going to be gone it is the body that goes mm. i will be there mm. i will continue and i have a purpose so when i start mm. looking at those options now i mm. come out of depression true okay? yeah. yeah yeah i got it i'm hopeful yeah, yeah. thank you so much thank you yes one last person and then we'll go forward ha uh, yes it uh, well this was there was this question about the number of publications so i think it is about uh, realizing our responsibility at the level of society what is our contribution besides say teaching to our students and that's why Uh, uh the number is not important but what is important is how we are spending our time and whether it, the research is being useful to uh, say society at large and therefore uh, say we may apportion our time such that uh, eict had once framed a criteria that we should have 25% time for teaching 25 for administrative work 25 towards the research at 25% towards community service even now uh, i was this a uh, legal member of uh, drafting committee of this uh, eict regulations of 1 march 2019 and there are three criteria they are they have done so we must realize what is the uh, say purpose uh, behind that say there is one student feedback that is should be 5 to 8 or 8 to 10 scale there are number of uh, programs training programs yeah, that we is already discussed this topic no yes, and there should be number, there should be research publication yes. 
yeah so I the purpose thought, is either yeah. say one is good teacher either or one is a good researcher or one is a good say better trained person so if two of the three criteria are satisfied so uh, then the person is eligible so we should uh, say different people or different teachers focus on different activities and we must see our contribution to the society in punjab universities they say that lecturers only lecture readers only read and professors only profess <laughs> so uh, what uh, yeah, see, we... <laughs> all just statements we read here and there but what do you think huh. that this work that people are doing as uhv volunteers is it serving a purpose is it helping yeah, definitely society? definitely didi it is yeah. a great uh, help to society because uh, say there are not only teachers of engineering colleges but there are so many people from society and they are say voluntarily devoting their time and uh, from self improvement they are going to family level then they see the entire society as a larger family and then they are uh, say spreading towards their nature so it is our outreach uh, that ma- matters uh, how voluntarily we can contribute towards the development and betterment of the society thank yeah. you yeah thank you okay with that i think we'll go forward because um time is also yeah so now you can see what is happening what we were just talking about we move from excitement that temporary happiness from outside trying to get enjoyment through a favorable sensation consuming the physical facility or trying to get favorable feeling from the other that excitement from there you know when it is available we indulge in it and we have that pleasure that temporary excitement when we don't have it we become unhappy then we look for other activities so we are escaping from the unhappiness due to the lack of that physical facility or whatever we were looking for and then at some point you know we keep with this you know escape from the unhappiness at some point when that physical facility becomes available again we indulge in so we keep shifting from this temporary excitement to that escape from unhappiness and this is still what we refer to as animal consciousness but we need to go beyond it this is not happiness so what is the way out but the way out of this is to develop oneself to start working within so that we can ensure the right feeling with the right understanding and with that we have the possibility of continuity of happiness we can see even now that whenever we have the right feeling we feel calm we feel happy so it would if we are able to do it at one moment we can do it at other moments also so that continuity is possible so that shift has to happen from animal consciousness to human consciousness yeah next slide yeah this is what we were saying transformation moving from this kind of setup to working towards continuity of happiness next slide yeah so the only way out of this excitement and escape kind of cycle this vicious cycle is to work through one is one method is to work through right understanding right feeling right thought so that there is continuity of happiness that means we understand things the way they are we try to awaken to the higher activities we have the feeling and thought of relationship harmony coexistence and we are in continuity of happiness so this guarantee can be there if we get to this point not if when we get to this point we will be in state of happiness peace satisfaction bliss whatever you want to call or you can club it together and say continuity of happiness yeah next slide yeah 
Next slide. Yeah. So this is the task. This you are familiar with this diagram. I won't go through the whole thing again. So as we awaken to the higher activities, we are working on the inside. We are working towards realization. We are trying to awaken the to the higher activities and working for realization inside. But at the same time, while doing that, we are also working outside. in our interaction with other human beings in our work with nature in our participation in the larger order we are working for society we are working for bringing about happiness prosperity for all well being of all so that one can have an undivided human society ultimately with a universal human order so on the one end we are working for realization within on the other end we have the expression outside also and the two go hand in hand we don't have to wait till we finish or complete the realization within next slide yeah so what is this working through method 1 what is this how to do it well that's what we've been talking about right one way of trying to understand have the right feeling and thought go up to continuity of happiness one way of doing this is through the exercises that we have been discussing isn't it the practice sessions that we have been doing i hope you haven't forgotten them because that part needs to continue without that active exploration this process will not be able to happen you know faster so we may be exposed to the content for an hour or two in a day but this vigilance inside looking within must continue 24 hours so in exercise 1 when we are observing the self by the self we have to keep observing the self in all the activities while we are doing the activities we have to keep observing and it helps us to see that what is naturally acceptable to us is the feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence so if we ensure this feeling in the imagination say if you look at it at this moment if my feeling at this moment is in line with this what is naturally acceptable to me then i am happy at this moment i am comfortable i am calm so if i can ensure it at this moment then i can ensure it the possibility is there of my ensuring it every moment and therefore we can see that this continuity of happiness is possible through this method but like we always say this is one method that we have been working with and we can you know, many of us have been able to see some results also yes next slide when we look at the second exercise exercise 2 here we are you know while working at the self while looking within while you know paying attention to the self at the same time now we are talking about in exercise 2 how we you know look at things when we interact with the outside world so interaction with the body interaction with the outside world so depending on what kind of meaning we give to whatever the interaction is from outside that decides many things for us so if i see things really the way they are then lot of times i can respond to the situation 
बट इफ आई एम गोइंग बाय वेरियस असम्शंस आई हैव अज्यूम्ड समथिंग अबाउट द रियलिटी व्हिच मे नॉट बी ट्रू देन इट इज नॉट श्योर दैट आई कैन हैव कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ हैप्पीनेस और नॉट बिकॉज आई मे रिस्पॉन्ड आई मे रिएक्ट डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट आई अज्यूम so like the simple example we gave that if somebody is shouting if i assume they are shouting at me i might shout back i may react i may get unhappy but i am not able to see this that i am the one who is creating that feeling of opposition so i am disturbed i am unhappy because of that feeling in me not because the other person is shouting because i can see this also that if my perspective changes if i see things the way they actually are i will notice that that person who is shouting is himself disturbed he is not shouting at me he is just expressing his disturbance within so i need to look at it for what it really is i need to be able to see that he is the one who is disturbed i need not be disturbed so i can ensure the right feeling and with that feeling of compassion and feeling of concern i can try to help him also so this change in the meaning the interpretation can happen when i have the understanding and i am able to see things the way they are this understanding feeling and thought of relationship harmony and coexistence there is continuous happiness and this fulfillment is there the provision is there a step of that exercise is pending which we will do after the next lecture but meanwhile that effort must continue yes so we can move to the last slide self reflection yeah in this the first in the list we've already done the methods we've been trying to ensure continuity of happiness do you see the possibility of having continuity of happiness through these methods i think that is very clear that many of us shared that we cannot so let's look at this this third one what is your conclusion after all these investigations happiness is or has to be the basic nature of the self or it can be derived through the influence of others outside i think this is also very obvious but we need to look at small incidences like today how we discussed you know are we shifting from activity to activity in trying to get happiness from outside are we looking for activities of relaxation if that is the case at least we need to become aware of it not that we have to force ourselves but if we pay attention inside slowly this dependence on the outside will become less and less so we can work towards that i'll put that in the group also and i think we'll stop here we are um time is also up tomorrow we can discuss your observations regarding this